Sup nerds, I'm Wes. I'm Tom. And I'm Aaron. Today we're taking a look at Beasts of Balance, which is basically the millennials version of Animal Upon Animal. So, Beasts of Balance is a stacking game where you're kind of like reverse Jenga. There's, you know, Animal Upon Animal is another game where it's a lot like this, where you're stacking things animals. and trying... Yeah, animals, but there's also these other things. But the biggest thing is you play with an app. So you need an iPhone, an iPad, an Android. You need some sort of device that can download the Bob app, Beast of Balance. And it it's very interactive. All of, all of the creatures have a QR code that scans into this pillar that transfers... It's not actually a QR code. It's an RFID tag that scans into the pillar and it transfers over to your your device and it'll show the creature that you just scanned. So it's really cool how interactive it is and it's very precise. Like it knows exactly what you scan and how much it weighs when you place it on here. It's like, like a built-in scale. And there are two versions of play. There's like the cooperative or like exploration where it's just like as you stack these animals on here, they enter the app and there's like a, you know. Landscape. Landscape, that's a good word. Um, that shows the animals you had, and there's ways, like, these crossbreed animals, and so it, like, morphs two animals together and makes a whole new animal, and so you just kind of explore and see what you can stack, and you get, like, there's, like, a register of all the animals that you've created and added into it, so like you can a, just... Like a Pokedex, basically. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> so it's just, like, discovering new animals and cool ways to stack it, but there's also the competitive version, which is interesting because it only goes up to, it's a two- or three-player version, because you have the sea, the land, and the sky, mm -hmm. and you each control one of those areas, and as you scan that creature in on your turn, it creates the version of that creature that would fit with your zone. So like if you had the sky, but you scanned in the shark, it would make sky a cool shark. bird shark. But you have like, you're you're fighting to get against each other, trying to get more points, and trying to capture and kill each other's creatures and stuff. It's pretty cool. Beasts of Balance is by far one of the most unique games I've seen in a long time. And that's because normally I have this, I don't want to say aversion towards app integration in games. But there's times when I'm like, is it really necessary? And a few times when it definitely works. Like uh, like Mansions of Madness, that type Chronicles of thing. Chronicles of Crime. Chronicles of Crime, yeah. There's a lot of times when it, when it works really well. This, it's not just it integrates and it works. It, it's essential, basically. It's essential because it, like, it creates the game. Mm -hmm. Like, I was looking at this when I first saw it, and I was like, okay, it's a stacking game, but they're really big and chunky, and it, it looks cool. But the fact that you can scan them all into the plinth, and then that affects what happens on the app, and you do all those crossbreeding and coming up with all that different stuff, that that's just something I've never seen. Like, I know there yeah. is the one... What's the stupid Disney thing that you like... Where you you scan them into the the switch or whatever? Oh, you're talking about like Disney Infinity. Yeah, yeah. Infinity. Yeah. yeah. Can you play that? No, I don't have that one. I have Lego. You have the Lego. Version. You have the Lego, Lego version. version. You have the Lego version. It's, okay. it's it's a toys to life game. You're bringing these right. toys to life in an app, but it's also a board game instead of just like a direct well, video it's game. It's a like yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. There's that, an that's, aspect that's, that's a, that's a video place game in the real world. Right. That's a video game version of it. This is a board game version of it because it's at it has the and the dexterity part doesn't feel like a gimmick. It doesn't feel like we spend all the time in the app. Because yeah. this is really, really <clears throat> hard to do. And I have to think about that a whole bunch. Oh, wow, that was easy, actually. Uh, wait, uh, wait. Uh, uh, oh! But there is, there is a... You have, you have two minutes to put... Or 30 seconds to put it back up. It's when, not the... It's like five seconds. When that happens, it's crazy. Yeah. Right, because the app goes... Uh, uh, no! Uh, uh, <laughs> it goes... <laughs> it goes, you suck! You suck! <laughs> and, and I do feel like we're almost... I don't want to say deceptive, but I think calling this a board game yeah. is not quite the right term. It's we did Gravitrax, and Gravitrax is also the kind of thing that like it's in a box that fits on your board game shelf, but it's a little bit more of a toy than an actual like tabletop game. But I do think that a lot of people who enjoy playing board games are also going to enjoy the experience this creates. And with this experience, you can keep expanding upon it with all these extra boxes you see here there's tons of different there's like more beasts you just get three more beasts that you can add to it so you have more flavors of things you can crossbreed and more just awkward things to stack because this flamingo does not like stacking he's gonna like knock everything off it's like just like that but uh 
mm -hmm. if you like the battle mode, you, you definitely have to get the battle mode cards. The battle cards. Like, these change the game. There's, like, all kinds of things where you can, you know, put booby traps. It's like, like a deck of munchkin cards to add into this game. Yeah, it, it's really cool. And they, they have the QR code, uh, not QR, the... RFID tags. Yeah, the RFID tags. Just call them QR codes. It's too late now. It's too late. Uh, but they scan into it as well, and then it kind of, you have this very magic-like um, stack of cards where, like, what the last thing that was scanned in will trigger first, and then we'll kind of work down the stack to see what the ultimate, uh, what's going to happen here. Is he going to make it? Is it going to fall? You're never going to make it, man. You're, You're just making the video longer. <laughs> Now, it is important to note that these things are pretty durable, as you can tell. <laughs> like, we've, we've actually dropped, like, we've been playing this on my kitchen counter, and it'll drop and fall all the way to the ground and bounce around, and it's still totally fine. Don't mind the flamingo. He goes back together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, did that just happen? Look, good as new. Oh, wow. And also, these pieces feel really good. They have, like, a, kind of, like, a bit of a soft touch like to them. Like a rubberized. Yeah, like rubberized. Velvet. Like rubber velvet. Yeah, it's really cool. So, like, kids would absolutely love this. Yeah. And it also, it just... It's such a cool thing to have. It's like, I don't know, it's like we're in Star Trek or something. You know, like scanning a man and then, and then on the app, it's like, whoa. Yeah. It's such a fun game. And again, like, we're three mostly grown men here <laughs> playing this game. And like, uh, to be perfectly fair, when we first got this game and we saw it at Gen Con, I was not impressed. Because I was like, that, you're stacking animals and it goes into an app. Like, this is such a kid's toy. I had I so it. much fun. Well, that's exactly. <laughs> this is such an Aaron toy. <laughs> right, right. I had so freaking much fun playing this game. Mm -hmm. So again, we had talked about this. The base box does come with a, a decent amount of stuff, but expanding, mm -hmm. like, like he said, you can just get more beasts, you can get the battle cards, and then these legendary beasts... To be honest, all the stuff you can just use willy nilly, however you want. You can just add them in and just start sacking. It's just your go toy. Crazy. Play with it how you want. Exactly. But these dudes, these legendary beasts, as they're called, they do come with extra cards that I'm pretty certain are just for battle mode that will allow you to, that give like different rules for the pieces, which is pretty interesting. Like Hot Belly, uh, you may play Hot Belly on your turn if a tower collapse or rearrangement has killed at least one of your beasts. So they're like, you know, they give you variability in the different beasts instead of just you know the different chunkiness of them there's extra rules wow I, I suck so hard hey look at that guy so i do think that the just free play mode was fun it was cool to like play with it and honestly get the hang of it i really enjoyed playing the battle mode though and i think that battle mode cards were almost like an essential aspect to it because it added to the wackiness not of just like all right, I stacked one, now you stacked one, but you can like play instants and cancel things out and all mm -hmm. of that. I definitely think if you wanna pick this game up, try to find the battle edition because this comes with all the cards as well as the Omni Beast. So you get an extra creature and all the battle cards mm -hmm. already in the box. It's the same price, I well, think. Well, it mean, depends on where you find it. Yeah, the battle mode is definitely a lot of fun. I actually did enjoy just the the cooperative mode because it kind of as like a collector like trying to make every combination trying to catch them all like yeah it's like oh god I, like okay i didn't try you know the dragon with this guy let's crossbreed them okay now i'm gonna crossbreed him with him and him it's just like there's every combination and you, you can crossbreed the crossbreeds and yeah it's even more crossbreeds crazy and you know if you have a crossbreed then you can migrate it from it's an air beast now it's a water beast and it changes into another thing so there's just like a lot there that you'll constantly be unlocking them. Even if you're just playing through the battle mode, you'll constantly be unlocking in your, I think it's called the bestiary, is like the, the log of all those things. So like, it's kind of a cool thing to see, you know, oh, I've unlocked 20 of 2,000 or whatever. It's like- it's Better buy more expansions. <laughs> yeah. I actually kind of agree with Aaron that I think, I, while I did enjoy the battle mode, it was fun, but I actually had more fun with the co-op. I liked just put, just like, because it kind of, turns down into like a drinking game or it's more like a it's like an advanced futuristic Jenga. yeah a lot more casual and if somebody is like they're putting a piece on like whoa 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 you kind of care but when it's a battle mode you're like yes 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 knock it over but i mean that, that can't can be fun and i do enjoy the battle mode but i would probably play especially because the battle cards can be nasty mm -hmm. i would play the co-op mode probably more often than the battle mode 
I think the only real complaint I have with this game is the lack of rulebook. And I think that's mostly because we're board gamers, we look for rulebooks. But the way this game wants you to play is like the only instructions are like, put batteries in the plants, download the app and turn it on and link it to your phone. And that's like it. And then like, as you go, it kind of like teaches you kind of what you're looking for. And it mm -hmm. says, use this, now use this, now put this on there. And now you kind of know how things work. And, and there was a little bit of like fiddling and trying to figure out like, okay, like it didn't, like the cooperative mode. And it was mm -hmm. like, is there, is there a point? Is there a way to win? High score. Is it like, but there was nothing that said, yeah. hey, there's no winning. It's just have fun, mm -hmm. see what you can discover. It was just there. Yeah. And so I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more direction to it. But now that you know that there's no direction to it, maybe that won't be a complaint for you. I still think it's possible that there are areas of the game that we haven't figured out yet because Absolutely. we haven't explored the app enough. Because the way it teaches you things, it teaches you like as you do it. So it's very possible, I think, that there's like, oh, if we do this and this, that'll happen. And we haven't noticed it yet. Maybe not very possible. Maybe there's a, there's a chance. My only complaint would be storage solution. The box is decent. But yeah, and it has like this little thing to store it. Yeah, but... for the for the plinth. Yeah. yeah, but as you start getting more pieces, it's oh, actually, I think the box also comes. At least this box did. It had like another piece on top of that. They do, yeah. That's set in these guys, but as you get more expansions, it comes hard to fit in there. It's a big jumble and stuff. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. like everything here does fit in that base game box. So like it fits, yeah, like... but you're also just like dumping it all in there. There's like no Legos. like yeah. Now, again, I said my only complaint because really I don't have a lot of complaints. It's a really fun game, but you know, nothing's perfect. So there you go. So we all really love this game. We highly recommend that you pick up a copy for your game group, break, break it out, get all the expansions. You're going to have fun. There's a link in the description box down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll never finger guns, be bored. Be bored. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Today we're playing with Bob. What is Bob? Beast of Balance. It shows, it says Bob on the app. That's right. <laughs> You're like so funny. <laughs>